ఐ ఎమ్ డాక్టర్ డిఎస్ రానా చైర్మన్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ నెఫ్రాలజీ సర్గంగారామ్ హాస్పిటల్ న్యూ ఢిల్లీ దేర్ ఆర్ టూ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ కిడ్నీ ఫెయిలర్ వన్ ఈజ్ అక్యూట్ కిడ్నీ ఫెయిలర్ అండ్ అండ్ అదర్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ క్రానిక్ కిడ్నీ ఫెయిలర్ అక్యూట్ కిడ్నీ ఫెయిలర్ దట్ ఈ విత్ ఇన్ లెస్ దాన్ త్రీ మంత్స్ పీపుల్ పేషెంట్ మే ప్రజెంట్ విత్ పాసింగ్ లెస్ యూరిన్ a patient may be having symptomatic like vomiting nausea loss of appetite dehydration excessive vomiting excessive diarrhea heat stroke or ingestion of toxic drugs or toxic substances or heavy metals there are some ayurvedic medicine which are containing very heavy metals then of course in hospital setting infections otherwise any serious infection like especially like pneumonia and urinary infection they can produce acute kidney failure in case of diarrhea and vomiting patient must take immediate treatment if there is no vomiting then patient can take or lot of fluids and electrolytes like salt this that can prevent similarly prompt treatment of infection should be there and there are certain patient those who are more prone to get acute kidney failure acute kidney injuries like people those who are having underlying uh, kidney diseases maybe single kidney so and old people in those people they should be prompt treatment of any infection and also anything leading to dehydration this can go for years together this may be if this can stay within a few months it re- there are usually stages of chronic kidney failure and it is divided into stages 1 to 5 most of time in the first three stages patient are not symptomatic but once the kidney function reduced to almost 30 percent of normal function then patients start losing appetite they may start having nausea vomiting or weakness and they will start developing some uh, other complications especially severe weakness you know then at the time by inv- on investigation you will come to know that the patient is suffering from kidney failure or not you know diabetes mellitus and hypertension they are two important causes of chronic kidney failure and then certain glomerulonephritis certain kidney diseases and in this part of country like the northern part kidney stone disease also fairly common disease apart from some congenital disease chronic kidney failure once established cannot be cured people should know about it but however treatment is very essential to protect heart and prolong the Uh, stage of dialysis and transplantation and that is possible